Thanks for your recent purchase of our new AgriFim timer. Programming a timer can appear to be difficult, but I'm here to walk you through the programming step by step and to provide you with additional resources that are available if you still need help. Before you get started, it's important that you begin programming at the same time of day you want your watering to begin. This is a simple timer that doesn't know what time it is, it only knows whether to go on or off every hour, 6 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, 1 week, you get the idea. Let me give you an example. If you want your watering to begin every morning at 6 a.m., then turn the frequency dial to 24 hours at 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's begin programming. This timer operates with water pressure greater than 15 psi. That means you can't use this timer to control water flow from, say, a rain barrel. Pressure must be applied. Additionally, this timer must be installed on a hose bib above ground. Do not install it on a hose or location that has the timer lying on the ground. This video will cover installation and programming. We will cover programming first, but note that you can also install the timer and program afterward if that's more convenient. First, check your supply tubing. If it has a hose thread adapter already installed, you're ready to begin programming. If not, you'll need to purchase a swivel adapter that fits your supply tubing. To determine the size of your supply tubing so you purchase the right adapter, simply measure the diameter of your tubing. The most common sizes are 1 half inch, 5 eighths inch, and 0 0.710. Before you begin, you're going to need two AA alkaline batteries and the timer. Once you have these things together and you've decided your start time, you need to set all three dials to off and reset. Once this is done, turn over the timer and remove the battery cover. Pull on the tabs on the back of the timer to get access to the battery compartment. Then load the two AA batteries as indicated inside the battery tray. Now you're ready to program the timer. First, determine how often you want the water to come on. Your options are one time per hour, all the way to one time per week. Let's say we want to water once a day. Locate the frequency dial. Note that the numbers on this dial represent hours. We turn the frequency dial to 24 hours. Now you need to determine how long you want the water to run. Let's say we want our water to run for 15 minutes each time the water comes on. Locate the runtime dial and turn that dial to 15. Note that the numbers on this dial are in minutes. Make sure your runtime setting is always less than the frequency setting. There you go. You're done programming the timer. The automatic light will begin flashing and watering will begin 24 hours later because that frequency dial is set to 24. To install the timer, place the timer up to the hose bib. Hold the body of the timer face up and screw onto the hose bib by hand tightening the nut. Do not use a wrench or any tool as it might break the nut. If you're connecting a garden hose to your timer, you're ready to go. If you're connecting a drip system to your timer, then you need to connect your swivel adapter. To connect your drip system, you need to first attach your swivel adapter to your supply tubing. Locate the nut at the bottom of the adapter and twist it clockwise until tight. Now, push the supply tubing onto the swivel adapter. Make sure the end of the supply tubing is past the barb and is secure inside the swivel adapter. Finally, twist the nut counterclockwise over the supply tubing to lock it in place. Once the swivel adapter is attached to your tubing, twist it onto the timer, turn the water on, and you're done. Sometimes you may find yourself in a situation where you need to water in between programmed start times. An extra hot day, or possibly just to test your system will require the use of this feature. To water manually, simply locate the manual water dial at the top of the timer and turn to the desired duration. After the manual water cycle is complete, the timer will automatically revert back to the previously programmed setting. For example, if we wanted to add an extra 10 minutes to our water cycle today, we would turn the dial to 10. You will see a confirmation flash on the manual light indicating that the programming is complete. The manual light will continue flashing while the timer is in manual mode and will turn off once the manual watering cycle ends. When it rains, this timer has a feature that allows you to delay watering for up to 72 hours. Don't worry, you won't lose your original program. Here's how it works. Go to the rain delay dial and turn it to the desired delay time, which is featured in hours. In this case, we're going to ask our timer to stop watering for 48 hours. That means this timer will delay normal programmed watering for the next 48 hours. The manual light will display a confirmation flash once the programming is complete 
and will continue flashing while the timer is in rain delay mode. The manual light goes off once the rain delay cycle ends. So that's all there is to it. If you still have questions, please visit our website at ndspro.com slash agrofim timer for more information. For more than 30 years, NDS has been a leader in stormwater management solutions for the residential and non-residential market. For more information on our other stormwater drainage solutions and special offers, go to ndspro.com.